Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. I hope you're well. So this is a general reading for your sign. It may or may not resonate with your current situation. Just take any parts that do and leave the rest for someone else. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome on this channel. And I read past, present and future energy. So please bear that in mind. Okay, let's get into it. Virgos, I hope you're well, wherever you are in the world. Okay. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles, first card out. Earth energy. Followed by the Four of Wands. The Eight of Swords. What are you up in your head about, Virgo? You've then got the Lovers. Mm, the Queen of Wands. Fire energy. One more, please. All right, got more than one. The Strength card. And the Five of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck. You've got the Six of Pentacles. Some of you are up in your head about a love situation, I feel. This could be someone that you're um, currently with or someone that you feel is your soulmate Virgo I see that you're very attracted to this person you feel like they're a queen of wands very um very good looking whoever this energy is masculine or feminine you might feel hmm, there's something around trying to be brave and courageous because you might follow some kind of competition something like that and for others of you I also feel like you've got some sort of a new um a new work opportunity coming in for you or this is what you're working towards. Something that's going to give you um, a more stable foundation. Mm. Some of you are working towards building a solid foundation for a particular relationship. Whether you're in it or you're working towards it. There's something around wanting to be, um, wanting to have foundations stable. So that you feel secure, I'm hearing, in, in a relationship harmonious happy all right let's get some clarity for you those are just some initial messages <clears throat> bear with me i've got a bit of a cold at the moment so yeah I'll try and get through this reading for you as best i can okay why is the ace of pentacles here for virgo all right eight of pentacles is clarified by the will and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some changes taking place in your working environment, um, Virgo. Something's shifting for you. And whatever it is, I feel like it's working in your favour here. Some new job, a new position, a new business that you've started. It's got you in the Nine of Pentacles energy. So there's rewards being, rewards being reaped at this time, or there will be. Something's setting you up, I'm hearing, to be self-sufficient. I feel like this, this role, it's allow, allowing for more financial independence and financial freedom here. Mm. For some of you, there's a real sense of you creating your own business. Pre-Empress energy with the Nine of Pentacles here. So there's a real sense of you not wanting for anything. Or you being able to get it for yourself as a result of whatever it is you're, um, you're doing for work here. I feel like there's been an increase in your finances or there's going to be, Virgo. All right. What else, please? Why is the four of wands here for Virgo? Mm. Four of wands with the three of swords here. Some of you... Some of you have had some sort of a disappointment with regards to a family dynamic. I see some sort of heartbreak here, some grief around um, a family unit that hasn't worked out as you would have liked, Virgo. Let's get another card. This doesn't have to just be um, like a relationship that's not worked out. I'm getting some kind of sadness, upset and grief around family matters. Some of you feel like your family environment isn't stable at this time. Mm, I see you 
there's some kind of decisions that you're wanting to make about this two of wands energy something to do with um decisions around this stability in in your home what is this let's get another card queen of cups for some of you it's in relation to a mother figure here or a mum mm, the mother of your children your mother a mother figure again some is there something around your intuition is kicking in with regards to a mother figure something's really upsetting at this time virgo and I see you trying to strategize or make some kind of decisions about it. You're, you're trying to go with how you feel about the situation. Or for some of you, there's a disappointment around um, a relationship with, um, with the mother of your children here. Let's get one more, please. Let's dig a little deeper. Thank you, spirit. Oh, ten of wands, the star, the six of swords, the world. Okay, that's quite a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like, oh, for some of you here, you may feel like a situation has come to an end. And I feel like somebody wants to move. Six of Swords energy. Someone might want to travel away here. Or someone, is, someone, because something has closed out, they've become quite cold and detached. But there's a real sense of wanting to travel, wanting to move away into some kind of calmer waters, Virgo. I feel like there's been some sort of hardships that's taken place in this family environment. With the Ten of Wands here and with the Star, there's some healing that is needing to take place. That's what I'm picking up strongly for some of you here. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Virgo? You're really, if this is you, Virgo, I feel like you're really up in your head in a bit of a mental prison at this time. Mm. Okay. All right. The Eight of Swords is clarified by um, authenticity. You are one. And abruption, decadence. And the Hierophant here. Let's see why this has come out for you. There's something around you. Um, hmm. I see you up in your head about wanting to be yourself or wanting to show your true nature here in whatever way that looks like for you. For some of you, you may feel like you've had to conform to some kind of societal norms here or you've had to be a certain way um, for certain people haven't been able to be your true self something like this there's almost like a confliction here between you are one and the decadence card here wanting to um please other people wanting to be there for others but i feel like you're also wanting to be yourself and do what makes you happy here so you have this kind of battle taking place in your mind virgo and i feel like for some of you you're there's something to do with your morals and your values kicking into play some of you it's to do with a, a marriage or a high level of commitment maybe not being able to be yourself i'm hearing suppressed for others of you you may just feel suppressed regardless of whether it's in a relationship or not and you're almost trying to fight your way out of this i feel in a logical way some of you want to do something to do with spirituality here with the hierophant card or you are like mentors counselors there's something to do with wanting to wanting to help others is coming out quite strongly being in some kind of a position of, of authority but where people look up to you because you give good advice guidance counsel let me get another card on this mm, the emperor there's something here to do with you maybe setting up your own business with the hierarch hierophant card here where you help people for some of you it's being a counselor helping people heal and I feel like, um, Virgo, you have got, there's something to do with your experience in this area. I feel like you come from a lot of life experience. You've been through a lot. You've seen a lot, regardless of your age here. Bear with me. I'm getting quite a lot of downloads at this time. There's something to do with you um, being able to use your 
experiences to support others through what they're going through and I feel like there's something around you this being your authentic self and maybe in the past you've done things that I haven't really sat well with you from a moral perspective um maybe you've taken roles where it was all about sort of money and making sure your lifestyle was maintained or others that lived with you or were around you you were able to support and maintain their lifestyle something like that but this isn't you is what I feel and you're almost like coming to terms with the fact that you're meant for something you're meant for something greater with the Hierophant card and for some of you with this Emperor card it's building a business that helps people let's see what else <clears throat> why is the lovers here please for Virgo lovers for Virgo please all right so the lovers is clarified by 14 temperance moderation there's something to do with a relationship <clears throat> either being out of balance here this is like a soul connection and you wanting to bring it back back into balance or feeling like it's been long overdue let's get another card <clears throat> Yeah, with the four of wands. For whoever I'm reading for, there's something to do with a family environment that's out of harmony here. Some kind of unity. You either wanting to bring it back. You're, ah, thank you, spirit. But I'm also getting, for some of you, Virgos, you're trying to reunite with someone that you feel is your soulmate. You may feel like you're trying to release the need to control the situation, let things flow naturally. For some of you, there's definitely want a, a want to reconcile with somebody that you've got strong feelings for here. Someone that you see as your soulmate, 100%. Queen of Wands, why is this here, please? Queen of Wands with the Sun card here. Okay. If some of you see someone as your happiness here, Queen of Wands, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be those star signs, but there's someone that you're looking at, um, Virgo, that you feel brings you happiness. This person. Oh, okay. I'm also getting that you've had clarity around somebody. And you know that this person makes you feel joy. Queen of Wands. This could be someone that you find to be very successful. Someone that is a go-getter, ambitious. I keep on getting attractive here. Someone that you feel is very attractive, Virgo. This person could get a lot of attention with this Queen of Wands energy. What else, please? What else for Virgo? Oh, Virgo, I feel like you're being patient here. There's a sense of you wanting, like you waiting for your ships to come in with this person. I don't feel like you are rushing anything. If anything, I feel like you're trying to plan and strategize in the background, maybe as to how to move towards your happiness, whoever this Queen of Wands is. You're patiently waiting. I'm hearing biding your time here. Maybe you're waiting for an opportune moment to move towards this Queen of Wands here. Why is the strength here for Virgo? Strength with the Four of Swords. Some of you are recovering from certain situations. I feel like um, with the strength card here and the four of swords, there's an energy of having to rest. I wonder whether you've been through quite a lot, Virgo, recently. <clears throat> and you're, you're coming across as um, having to tap into your inner strength here in resilience. But a lot of you have been put into a place where it's all about recovering and resting at this time. Hence the reason why you're not taking any, any action Maybe when it comes to particular matters, if it's love or whatnot, but there's something here to do with being patient and resting here. Hmm. Right, why is the Five of Wands here for Virgo? Five of Wands with the um, Ace of Wands. There's some kind of a new beginning coming in for you, Virgo. This is what you're working towards. Hmm. I also feel like people might be trying to restrict just as I'm reading this, there's a lot of background noise and I always feel like everything happens for a reason. Like, there's no coincidences. So even, like, when there's a lot of noise in the background, it's like distractions. I feel people are trying to distract you. They're trying to um, 
maybe block your new beginning here, Virgo. Like, I'm hearing some people don't want to see it. <clears throat> some people don't want to see you elevate or they don't want to see you start anew, have a fresh beginning. Some people might be, you may feel like some people are trying to hold you back, Virgo, at this time. There's something to do with competition. A lot of people competing for something. Maybe there's people that want to have a new beginning before you. So there's something to do with clambering to get there before you. Gosh, this energy is so immature. Five of Wands, again, is like that kind of competition, conflict, drama. You might have people trying to bring you drama because you're trying to move on. What else, please? <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. King of Pentacles, loyalty. So I feel like um, some of you, there's something to do with a new beginning, um, again, in work, but also love matters. There's something around loyalty being key for you, Virgo. I feel like you're trying to move into a new era of your life where you have loyalty around you, where you have stability around you, and you could be noticing that there's people around you that are very um, competitive or that want to restrict you in some way, shape or form. At the bottom of the deck, I've just seen the paranormal. So some of you are spiritual. Um, and some of you are, are communicating with your spirit guides, your angels at this time, maybe trying to get guidance and clarity about how to move forward in general. Okay. I'm going to um, leave that part of the tarot spread there. Hopefully it's resonated in some way, shape or form. If it has, hit that like button. Subscribe. I'm just going to pull some cards from this deck for you. And then we'll close out the reading. Anything for Virgo at this time, please, Spirit. Anything Virgo needs to know. First card out, Clover, release your guilt. Do you know what I feel, Virgo? For some of you here, hmm, there's some kind of, um, yeah, there's some kind of guilt you may feel over things that are taking place in your life. And I feel like you're being asked to let it go. For some of you, it's to do with um, a sibling here something that's maybe taking place between you and sibling like emotions could could be running high are running high but I feel like I feel guided to say like there's nothing else you could have done or there's nothing else you can do you've done your best 21 could be significant like you're not at fault here or you're not to blame you need to you need to release whatever this is holding you back or that you've been holding on to do you know what? I also feel, Virgo, for some of you, you've tried to suppress some kind of emotions with regards to, again, it could be fa a family member here or family members in general. Maybe there's things that you would have wanted to have worked out differently here. Maybe you wanted to help someone, Virgo, and, it, and you couldn't. I'm hearing you couldn't save someone. I don't know. That will resonate for some of you here. And you need to, to let go of this, this builds up guilt that, that you've, Hmm, that that's been accumulated, I'm hearing. All right. <coughs> mm, for others of you, it's a friendship dynamic. There's some kind of guilt that's needing to go. It could be a mother figure as well. All right. Tree, yeah, let them go. Honestly, you can't make it up. It feels like, okay. So I need to put this card, these cards down because I need to explain this. Again, 18 could be significant for someone here. But do you see how this, um, this person, she's sitting underneath the tree and the, the branches are on fire. This to me depicts the family tree. And it feels like some of these branches here are, are people. And I feel like, Virgo, you're being asked to let people go. You're being asked to release guilt and to let people go. Like, Hmm. Maybe you felt responsible for family members here. But I feel like some of, some people aren't um, helping themselves. 
again however that relates to your your situation here but you have people that you aren't able to save maybe they're setting their own branches alight here and you've tried to you're like the one that tries to put out the fires here but you're being asked to stop stop being the hero you need to focus on yourself and let people go everyone will heal when they want to heal virgo that's what i'm getting very strongly for you all right one more please oh, you got two so i'll take them both because i always feel like they're significant okay library take control of your own narrative 22 could be significant for you you could be doing a lot of reading at this time um, virgo a lot of research i'm seeing studying um upskilling something to do with increasing your knowledge here but i feel like you're doing it because you're taking back control of your life and maybe you had a lot of information in the past but it was very manipulative um, information it was things that people wanted you to know i'm hearing um there might have been things that people wanted to um there was some kind of manipulation in terms of the information you were receiving from people and i feel like now you're doing your own due diligence you're you're working out these things for yourself or you're researching on your own um so you come armed i'm hearing with facts or knowledge that that you have found out you don't rely on or the, who, for whoever i'm reading for you're not relying on people to give you information anymore I and mean, it could be because you don't trust it all right last card escapist Come home to yourself, Virgo. So for a lot of you, again, like with this card, I always get a sense of escaping from the world, getting back home and almost like shutting the world out, focusing on yourself. Again, some of you Virgos are really reading at this time. There's a sense of doing a lot of researching, reading, enhancing your knowledge here and your skills. 32 could be significant. A lot of you are hermits, literally. <laughs> I know the hermit is your card, but a lot of you spend time alone here. But that's how you feel most comfortable. Mm. All right, I'm going to leave it there for you, Virgo. Again, if it's resonated, hit that like button, and I'll see you back in another video. Namaste.